Most students at Denison University probably don't know what's on the seventh floor of the library. You have to have a special elevator key to reach the floor. You can only go there if you have an appointment, and you can never check out any of the books. It's the library's special collections archive, where rare books and manuscripts are kept in a special climate-controlled area. And this floor has its own um, AC unit. So even if the rest of the library goes out um, with any luck, we will keep operating up here. This is one of the reasons the library goes to all this trouble, a rare complete manuscript on alchemy written in 1492 during the Black Plague. It is so beautifully done, mm -hmm. and it is intact. Mm -hmm. You know, it isn't just a few right. leaves from it. Heather Lyle works in the special collections section and has never had the manuscript appraised and doesn't know its value, but it has value in other ways. She's been to the places she's been to Rome. Fred Portadou teaches medieval and renaissance literature and uses the manuscripts in his classes. It's a different way for students to learn. Uh, students will see something in an, uh, in an artifact, a piece of damage sometimes, and say, what's this thing? And I won't know the answer to it, um, but I'll say, okay, here's how we might solve the, the, the question. And it gives students a better understanding of why certain things were written down. Lyle says she's glad something from the past can still teach students now. But if you show them something that was actually created in medieval times and, and let them pass it around in class and really take a good look at it, um, I think it really does make history come alive for them. In Granville, Steve Wayne for NBC4.